Where's my water? I'm not here to fight. I am here on peaceful regards. Uh, 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 oh. What's up, guys? Jake here, coming back at you with another video. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of shirts. Today's shirts, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my vintage shirts and all the vintage shirts that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis that I have found throughout my house. If anything piques your interest, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Jake John Howard or hit me up on Grailed if it's on Grailed. I don't think any of these are on Grailed to be honest, but yeah, feel free to hit me up if you want to purchase something. <sighs> So again, this is not ob like obviously this isn't every T-shirt I own. This is, that would be ridiculous. I this is just what I have here gathered for the day. But I'm still gonna go through and show you my favorite shirts. If this is your first video watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like. Uh, let's get this video to a hundred likes. You guys did it last time, and the support on that was unreal. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you do it again, the videos will keep coming. Thank you. So we got a few on hangers here that are honorable mentions that have been hanging in my room for daily wear. So yeah, I'll show you those first. Starting it off, hanger going right through the hole in the sleeve. We got this Paul McCartney on a Brockham. Brockham red and yellow worldwide tag. Paul McCartney, the new world tour. It's got a graphic of little earth with little I don't know, a little ring around it, a little, I don't know. I usually wear this one inside out if I'm being honest, that's why it's like this. The fit and the distressing on it is perfect. Uh, I cropped it and sewed it up a year or two ago, but definitely one of my most worn shirts. Mm. Next up for shirts hanging up, we got this Bape, Nigo's favorite party. It's got the cow ostrich graphic on the front. Single stitch, early 2000s. Uh, this is a size of medium. Old Bape tag. Uh, you, this has been in plenty of videos before. You've probably seen that already. Another one. This is one of my favorites. Big Grail piece. Ridiculously thrashed up Rebellious Skull shirt. Uh, I don't know anything about Rebellious Skull. It's not that I know anything about it. It's just the color and the graphic of the shirt. But this was actually my stepdad's and it was kicking around the house for a long ass time and now I still have it so New York City on the back pulls all over this shit it's kind of ridiculous next up Haynes Beefy the all white XL single stitch it's a nice basic t-shirt for daily wear gotta be like 22 inches by 25 usually people can find like the certain blanks that they like Haynes Beefy is good for me and I like Brockham too uh, all right, next up a grail. Can't believe I'm showing to this on a plastic hanger after I just showed a blank tee on a wooden hanger. But obviously, speaks for itself. If you're watching this, you know what this is. Vivian Westwood, Seditionaries, OG, boob shirt. The graphic is unbeatable. All tags still on there. Beautiful shirt. It's literally like paper thin, though. Next one, another single stitch. Seditionaries, uh... This one's a size small, this one's really tiny, but it's the one with the naked kid on it and the Sex Pistols logo. I got that one for a good price, so I scooped it up. And last honorable mention here, you got the Aesthetic Terrorist, Walter Van Buren Dunk, uh, long sleeve 2000, around that time. I don't know, these are hard to come by. I've seen this shirt sell for like $300 before. I got mine, ah fuck, I don't know how much I got mine for, but beautiful not selling this i love this shirt okay so now i'm gonna get into the pile i have everything folded up that i have found and i'm gonna go through these quick mode so first up got this contra shirt little tank top found it like this i found this at the bins yeah i don't know i like the graphic on it all over fits kind of short cropped i don't really i don't really ever recall wearing this to be honest but it will be on screen for the sake of the video. Now also, a lot of these have been found in the bins. So if I, it's not like I really care about a lot of 
these things, some things have sentimental value and are shirts that I bought because I like the graphic and what's on it, but a lot of them have just been found in the bins and they're random shirts that I bought just because I liked it. So next, after I say that, <laughs> one that's definitely got good value to me. This is printed on an all sport max weight XL. This is the Ocarina of Time promotional shirt. Now there's no date on it, but originally I'm pretty sure it came out in 98 for the first release of Ocarina, so it's either that or the GameCube one, which or whatever that was. So it's still an old shirt. Like I don't it doesn't matter how old it's an Ocarina of Time shirt, one of my favorites. Like I said, some I have no idea about. This one is an Anvil large single stitch. Uh, Bob Stores established in 1954. No idea. The color of it and the lightweight, just the feel of it. Thought I would grab it. It was in the bin. Thought I would grab it. It was in the bins. Bob shirt. Minion or the Bob shirt today. Am I right? This one, one of my favorites. Just another one. Bin find. Sonoma. It says on the uh, large tall, I think it is. It's just this pocket tee with holes and paint scattered about. Long sleeve. Perfectly flowy. The perfect size for a long sleeve. Perfect for a pair of shorts. This one's a Stanley DeSantis tag, okay. I've only bought like one or two things with this tag, but this is a single stitched home improvement. Real men don't need instructions. They don't have a date. They don't matter, fuck a date. Real men don't need instructions. Home improvement, Tim the Tom Tam Allen. Next, another shirt. Oh, wait, actually I love the graphic on this one. Or I'll wrap your fucking head in with a ratchet. 1991 calls with balls tough guy got the dude with the wrench straight screaming what the fuck <laughs> on the front the jerky boys just has the same graphic and color in red this one i found at goodwill i don't know the graphic was so ridiculous that i thought i had to get it i don't know anything about the jerky boys all right another one what's this guy M and O knits. I don't. I've never seen that tag, but this is just a big, all over Resident Evil print. With a little zombie dude on it. Sometimes you grab what you grab. All right, I'm not even halfway through my shirts. Sorry. Next, another one. We got this Mario Paper Mario shirt. I'm pretty sure. Yep. 2003 Paper Mario, being chased by bomb. Him and little Luigi's bitch ass. Round two sold this for $150. So, offer me less than that and I will sell this to you. One of my favorite shirts, definitely one that I'm scared to wear at this point because I don't want it to get too damaged, is this 92 Black Sabbath Tour. Big devil on the front, what is it on? This is on the Brockham group, so like the early Brockham tags on the white tag, but uh, super cropped. This is a XL and it's this short, this wide, this boxy. It's a weird ass cut, but the graphic's perfect. Big cross on the back. This is really one of my favorite shirts. I don't wear it a lot because I don't want to fuck it up, but I love this shirt. Another grail right after that one. Got the Green Day Dookie Tour on the Brockham. It's the XL, paper thin too. This one, I've given it such a beating. At this point, it's not even white, it's like cream, but Dookie's definitely the best Green Day album that I can name and most memorable for my childhood. The album art is too good too. Placed on the front there. Dogs smoking, not for sale. I love that shirt. Okay, maybe if you send, nah, nah. nah. All right, this one's printed on fine t-shirts, H.T. Evans, 100% cotton. So the single stitch Titanic T, super weird fit. Yeah, size large Titanic. I don't know. I don't know anything about Titanic. Fuck that shit. Why? Dudes died on your shirt. Another one that I know literally nothing about. Printed on Fruit of the Loom, size large. It's just got this crosshair on it. The fit of the shirt is perfect, and the weight of the shirt is perfect too. But I have no idea what this little logo is. So if anyone has any idea, let me know. But I still like it. I like the graphic without knowing what it is. It's just a simple shirt to wear. Black. I don't know. Bomb. Alright, another one. Keep it real. Never really worn this one, but I bought it a while ago. Triple A. Size medium. Silence of the Lambs. It puts the lotion in the basket. Buffalo Bill straight holding the poodle. I don't know. That's sweet. If that, I don't know if it fits me. I'll try it on. I'm in the video. You'll see, but 
yeah, definitely one that I've forgotten about. This is a sweet shirt. Worth mentioning, paper thin camo long sleeve. This is a woman's extra large or a kid's extra large. I don't know, but it's very cropped, very flowy, great. It's probably kids. I, I'm betting kids. It happens. Uh, I don't give a shit about football. Tom Brady, super pebbled out and faded out. Straight gray logos on there now, where it used to be white. Very thin, super comfortable shirt. It's like all I know is very comfortable, super and thin. I don't know anything about these types of shirts. It's just I picked it while I was at the bin, so yes. I like this shirt. All right, printed on a, a Galaxy by Harvick XL, made in China. Got this Jurassic Park, double stitched, but super thin, ridiculously beat up at this point. It looks, actually, that's disgusting. I can't believe I'm even showing that on camera. Ew. I wear this all the time, though. I believe that that's a kid's extra large as well. But this strikes me as a kid's extra large. So that's how it goes. That's how the best shirts fit. All right, this one's sweet. Rising 100% cotton, Pink Floyd, the Division Bell, pink and blue on the white. 1994 it says on the back, World Tour. There's a ton of shirts with this logo on it, like tons of Pink Floyd shirts, but I've definitely not seen this one a lot on the back. Dark Side of the Moon, got all the album toys on there. A little bit bigger than I would like it to be. I think that this one, this one would benefit from a tie-dye. It would be very cool tie-dyed, but I don't know. Another grail, I guess. I don't know. I like this shirt a lot. Got it for super cheap. Oh, and it's covered in, the shirt's covered in fucking either deodorant or, no, that's deodorant. I was going to try to play it off and say that it was, what goes on a tattoo? Or gel. <laughs> Aquaphor. Recycler World Tour 1991 on the back. ZZ Tops, two cart. I mean, if I'm being honest, I wear this shirt all the time, and I can't distinguish what the fuck is on it. Been beaten into a good amount at this point. Oh no, I have five minutes. Honorable mention again, big jersey found at the bins. Uh, not really a jersey person. This is on a Third Street sportswear, crafted in the U.S. Um, not really drawn to jerseys, so I don't know anything about it, but I do want, like, a Flyers jersey. I think that's who... It is like the red and white flyers that's sweet uh, another honorable mention not necessarily a vintage shirt but a remake this is the bare knuckles first edition vintage shirt i would probably say i got a small i actually don't like the material of it that much but the fit of it's nice and the graphic is sweet but i'm not too much another one of my favorites 1991 lala palooza with this weird spiral graphic in the front lime green lettering it's got the definition on the back and all the bands that attended, Living Color. Oh, damn, I just realized I lost a shirt somewhere. I have a Living Color shirt somewhere that I don't have in the video. Uh, Butthole Surfers, Jane's Addiction. One of my f earliest finds printed on Changes, 1985. Wow, I didn't realize this was that old. Big Peace Sign, Peace of Mind. Fido Dido. I have no idea anything about this, but I've seen it in other vintage stores. Yeah, this actually fits me pretty well. One shirt that I used to wear all the time. If you know anything about that, let me know. We're back. Oh, good one. Megadeth. This was like 30 bucks at, um, what's that place? Search and Destroy. This was $30 at Search and Destroy. Reprint, but washed so many times. Uh, I haven't had that shirt for a while. Somebody I know is wearing that all the time, so. Another Hanes heavyweight. This is an adult large. What is this? New York Jets American Conference, 1996. Now, obviously, I don't know anything about football either, but this one's cool. I like the graphic. I like the colors. The I don't like the pink lipstick stain in the middle, though. That That's there. That's been there. I can't get that out. I have tried. Ugh. Ow. Oh, bit. No! They all fell. Now, this is big vintage right here. The vintage Who is Jukov? We don't even know when this is from. 
Cause the date is un un uh, trackable. Too old. Too old. They don't know nothing about this. Ah, uh, all right. Let me pull up. Pull up the other stack real quick. All right. Start it off with something good. We got this printed on PK Sport XL double sided Marilyn Manson base tee. Uh, it's been cropped and the sleeves have been taking off. I don't know what the fuck I did that for, but on the backside, same thing, just no color. Another one I wear all the time, just due to the fit and the, the weight of this shirt. It's Van Halen all over print for unlawful carful knowledge, carnal knowledge. Van Halen fuck. Yeah, all over print, even continued onto the sleeve with these big X's and little diddly diddly do's. That was the fucking dumbest thing I ever said. Seams are coming out, it's all messed up. It's beautiful, perfectly distressed, as I've said about every other shirt. The next two, now bear with me. I don't know what has happened to the next two. The shorty skateboard shirts. Nah, I ain't even showing you that, what the fuck? All right, Billy Joel and Elton John face-to-face -face tour, 2002, straight crop top. Buy this for your girlfriend who thinks she likes vintage shit, please. All right. Another banger, got the boondocks T, boondocks on the back, year 2008 on this one, no tag, uh, I would say it's probably a large though, yeah, this one's sweet, 2001 undercover, chaotic mutant t-shirt, size large I think, it's either a large or a medium, I'm not selling this, buddy, this has literally been a shirt I've worn my whole life, this is a person, American Poet, it's gotta be a reprint, I don't know, I've had this my whole life pretty much. A little Doors logo on the back, printed on Tennessee River XL. American Poet, I have seen this in vintage stores, but this is 1999 it says on it, but who knows. Size XL, this is my dad's shirt, it's a shirt. One of my earlier finds when I got into vintage, uh, Fruit of the Loom XL. In 1995, he's got dude sticking his fingers in his ears. It says, shut the fuck up. Oh, wait, what does it say? Shut the hell up. I love this shirt, actually. It's a little straight crop top at this point, but random graphic. Nice faded out. All right, I don't know if this is even worth showing. This looks like it's not going to fit me either. But a faded out tank top. Nice green color for the summer. Big vintage right here. Got the Janko jeans. Straight thrashed, extra large, see through, skull print, puff print t shirt. You see this thing? This is beautiful. Uh, Fruit of the Loom, extra large. This is just a blank black tee. Nice painter's shirt. Definitely can't go wrong with a beat up black tee or a beat up white tee in the summer. And one of my most beat up, unwearable shirts at this point is this. Pink Floyd. It's the one with the sun on it. North America tour, 1994, my bad. So many things I could use a repair on this shirt, but I just don't know where to start. Armpits are ripped open, there's things hanging. But surprisingly, I love to wear it in its state, so I'm not going to be doing anything anytime soon. Another Brockham, extra large. This is this Offspring, the Offspring. Little devil boy holding a gun. Wore this to school and got in trouble many times. Like, why? Why is that problematic? I don't know. I, got, I don't know. I guess, but fuck you. Damn, where's my Sonic shirt? I'm missing mad shit from this. I, I have a Sonic shirt somewhere, too. That shit's hard. Haynes Heavyweight Grande Large. 1994 Olympic Winter Games. This has a dummy tight collar. The neck on it's so weird. But, colorful ski guys, I ain't really about it. This one, this one I'm about. I don't think it fits me though. Oh wait, this thing's massive. This is definitely doesn't fit me, but it's worth trying on for the video. Now look at this thing. Single stitch, mama and her child. Okay, it's just a nice portrait to be honest. I, I thought there was more going on here, but it's just a portrait. Still beautiful. Another Pink Floyd, again with that same logo as the, uh, White tee from earlier, World Tour 1994. This was a Brockham, I'm pretty sure, and I cut the tags out because I was dumb. Bitch, Hard Rock Cafe, what the fuck? That ain't me. Huge Hope Watermelon Festival. Okay, maybe it fits me. 
the single stitch on this thing is fucking ridiculous though. 1994. The stitching is super wide. My camera turned off two or three times during this. I also didn't hit record twice. So that's why there's been like 300 clips of this. I'm sorry. Alright, well that's all of the clothes. If you want to see it, I'll take the camera and move it. Oh wait, did I do an outro? Bye. That's it for the video guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know, I may have to re-record this. I still don't know if I did it well. I don't know if I have all the footage. Dang, it's so hard doing YouTube when it's not your job and stuff. Bye.